Hello, and this is Delia again, and I'm going to read another story out of the Five Minute Tales for Four Year Olds. Scarlet, you're on the other side. You're on the other side. Yeah, and Belle wants to stay over there. Okay, so we're going to read the Five Minute Four Year Old stories called Molly and Moonlight. What do you think Moonlight is, Scarlet? Now, what we're going to have to do is put the book up like this so you can see the pictures. See Molly and Moonlight? Yay! Molly and Moonlight. Of all her toys, Molly's favorite was her little horse, Moonlight. She was pale silver and her eyes sparkled like stars. Moonlight sat on the windows the windowsill in Molly's bedroom. Molly and Moonlight had wonderful pretend adventures. Together they rode through magical forests and climbed snowy mountains and raced across hot deserts. They fought dragons and captured robbers and rescued lost lambs in the wild. Molly loved Moonlight, but more than anything, she wished that Moonlight could be a real pony who would prance and gallop and take her on real adventures. Molly's mom and dad told her that they couldn't have a real pony where they lived. Ponies need room to run and race about, said mom. They only have a little yard. Even so, every night before she went to bed, Molly looked up to see if the wishing star was out. If it was, she would look up at it and whisper, I wish I may, I wish I might have a real live pony like Moonlight. Aww. One night, not, not long after Molly fell asleep, a soft whooshing noise woke her up. She sat up in bed and saw that her curtain was open and the wind was blowing. It was blowing her curtain. And the moon was shining into Molly's bedroom. In the shimmering moonlight, Molly noticed something that made her heart stop. Moonlight was gone, but high in the sky, the wishing star was winking and twinkling down at her, almost as if it was calling her to the window. Jumping out of bed, Molly rushed to the window and looked out. She could hardly believe her eyes. There, prancing around the apple tree in the middle of the yard, was Moonlight. She was as big and alive as could be. Moonlight looked up. Come and play with me, Molly, she called softly. You think she got her wish about the, about the horsey? Filled with wonder and excitement, Molly rushed downstairs and she let herself out the back door and ran into the yard. You're alive, she cried, jumping onto Moonlight's back, and you can talk. It's the magic of the wishing star, said Moonlight. At every full moon, the Wishing Star Fairy grants one person's wish for just one night. Tonight, it's your turn. And with Molly on her back, Moonlight trotted around the yard. Then she began to gallop and with a quick leap, sailed over the fence. You see the pony? Huh? Molly held her breath and clung to Moonlight's silver mane as they galloped through all the yards in the street. The wind ruffled her hair and Molly had never been so happy in her life. Suddenly it felt as if Moonlight was galloping on the wind itself. Looking down, Molly realized that, there were, that they were flying in the wind, springing up, 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 high in the midnight sky. Where are we going, she asked Moonlight. You'll see, Moonlight replied. Higher and higher they flew, high above the rooftops and treetops. The full moon cast its silvery beams and all around them the stars twinkled merrily. But one star shined more brightly than all the others. It's the wishing star, gasped Molly. Yes, said Moonlight, and we're going to visit it. As, the, as they got closer, Molly saw that the wishing star was really a big, shiny throne. And on it sat a beautiful fairy with long, sparkling hair and twinkling wand made of silver and stardust. I'm the wishing fairy, she told Molly. 
Do you hear Nene being silly, Scarlet? I hear all the wishes that are made of the wishing star, and I decide which ones will come true. Why did you choose mine, asked Molly. Because I know how much you love moonlight, the wishing star fairy replied. I love and always help make things real. So yours is an easy wish to grant, but it will only be true for tonight. In the morning, Moonlight will be a little toy horse again. I know Somali, and I will love her just as much. Look, there she is. Then she will always be real to you, said the fairy. Now go and enjoy your adventures. And with a prance, Moonlight took Molly, swooping through the stars and clouds. They leaped over moonbeams and darted between shooting stars and raced around planets. All the while, the wishing star fairy watched, smiling from her starry throne. When the first light of dawn began painting the sky pink, Molly knew it was time to go home. Aww. Look, she held on tight as moonlight flew her back down over the yard and in through her bedroom window. Tired and happy, Molly crawled into bed, and in seconds she was fast asleep. Soon, moon, sun, soon sunlight was streaming through the window, and Molly's mom was calling from downstairs. Molly, it's time to get up. Molly looked over at the windowsill. There was moonlight just where she always was. Was I dreaming, Molly wondered. She rushed to the window and looked down into the yard. Everything looked the same. But were those really hoof prints around the apple tree? Molly looked at moonlight, whose eyes were twinkling merry, merrily. Maybe it was the breeze blowing. Moonlight's mane or maybe Moon Molly's eyes were playing tricks on her, but she was sure Moonlight was gently nodding at her. Oh, that was so sweet. I love that. That was a cute little story, and that was Five Minute Tales for four-year-olds. And my neighbor's child was being silly at the window, trying to get attention. I hope you all enjoyed it. Did you like it, Scarlett? Was it good? Did you like it? Yay! There will be more coming soon. Y'all have a wonderful day and take care.